that's workbook time. Big ugly hand is here. Well, thank you, big ugly hand. Thanks. Okay, uh, this is pages 42 and 43. And the first part here says a look and write. And we're gonna be taking these picture clues and then putting them into the crossword. And they put the spelling right here in this word box for us. So it'll be nice and easy. First though, let's remember what these words are. Grapes, grapes, grapes. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Peaches, peaches, peaches. Hamburgers, hamburgers, hamburgers. Stew, stew, stew. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Pasta, pasta, pasta. Steak, steak, steak. Okay, let's start. Number one, I've already got a G, and I know that these are grapes. Here's grape spelling. So let's write grapes. G R A P E S. Grapes are done. Now we can do number five because we've already got a P. So number five going not across, but down is here. And well, let's look. Is that either pancakes or peaches or pasta? Definitely peaches. So we'll write P E A C H E S. Peaches. Cross it out. Okay, and now we could do number three or number two because we have a little bit of help. I'm gonna I'm gonna do number three because I like to start with these first words. Here's number three. It looks it looks kind of like cereal. It looks kind of like soup. I, I don't know, but it starts with an S. So let's look in here. Stew or steak? Definitely stew. So S T E W. Stew's done. Okay, now I guess I'll go back and do number two. We got mm, A, number two across. Oh, I know what these are. One of my favorite foods hamburgers. Ham. Burgers, B-U-R-G-E-R-S. Hamburgers, yum, yum. Okay, and that gives us number seven and number eight going down. Number seven, this is cheese here. C-H-E-E-S-E, -E -E, cheese. And number eight going down is right here. Ooh, I don't know, but I only have two left, or sorry, three left. So let's see, it could be pancakes, or pasta, or steak. Well, I know it's not pancakes, and I, this is steak, so it must be pasta. Or pasta means any noodle dish, and here are some noodles down in here. Kind of looks like penne, penne pasta. P-A-S-T-A, -A. yum yum, I love pasta. Only two left now. Number six down is steak. Here's steak. S T E A K. Steak. One left. Pancakes. That means number four. Yep. Pancakes. P A N C A K E S. Pancakes. Part A is done. Okay, this is part B and it says read and write and we have a question here and then an answer. So let's remember that pattern from our student book quickly. Good, and now let's just do it. The first one's a girl and she has this. So we're gonna say, we're gonna trace what, because I want to know about a thing, does, because we're using one girl, she, because it's a girl, and like. What does she like? Okay, so she likes. 
need that S on there because it's one. She likes, and here is a hamburger. When we talk about like, I can't say she likes a hamburger because she likes all of the hamburgers. So we're by hamburgers. She likes hamburgers in Korea. She likes hamburgers in America. She likes hamburgers everywhere. So we need an S on there. She likes hamburgers. Okay, the next one is this boy. Wow, he has a whole bunch of grapes. What? W H A T. And in this space, we have to put the helping word, which is does. What does? And it's a boy, so he. And we want to find out about like. So like. What does he like? Over here, he. And then we have to say likes. Add the S. And these are grapes. So grapes. He likes grapes. Done. Okay, this is part C, and it says look, read, and write. And we have to make a yes no question and then the answer. So, quickly, let's remember the yes no question. Good. We're going to make a question with does. So our answers can only be yes, mm, does, or no, mm, doesn't. All right. Number one is just tracing. So I'll read it and trace it. Does she like pancakes? She's very happy. Yes, she does. All right, let's write it. D-O-E-S space S-H-E space L-I-K-E space P-A-N-C-A-K-E Yes. Does she like pancakes? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay, next one is this boy. So we'll say he. Does he like mm? Well, that's cheese. So let's put cheese in there. Does he like space? And then we'll put cheese. C H. E E S E. Does he like cheese? He's frowning, so no. No. He doesn't. Okay, the next one is this girl. So we're gonna say, does she like and this? If I remember, it kind of looks like dappoki. But I don't think we learned how to spell dappoki. I think it's pasta. From what they had before. Put in pasta. Does. Is it girls? We have to say she. Does she like pasta? Kind of a funny word. In Canada, we say this as pasta. Okay, does she like pasta? Well, she's got a frown on her face. She doesn't look very happy, so I think it's no. So we'll no, comma, space, she, and then doesn't, doesn't, which means does not, doesn't. The last one is a boy, so we'll say does he, does he like, and this is steak. Does he like steak? And he's got a big smile on his face, so yes. Yes, he does. Yes, comma, space. He does. Yes, he does. And part C is all done. Okay, and this is part D, and it just says read and match. So we can just read the question and then match it to the picture. Here we go. What does he like? He likes hamburgers. Me too. I love this unit, but every time I teach it, it makes me very hungry. Okay. Next one. What does she like? She likes grapes. Well, grapes are there. Right there, some grapes. Draw a line over to there. Number three. 
What does she like? She likes stew.、Uh, no, those are peaches. Yes, that is stew. Oh, that stew looks good too. That kind of looks like Duenjang stew to me. Next one. What does he like? He likes peaches. That's this boy up here.、We'll、draw a line up to him, and just like that, we are done. Good job.